What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Free channel. My name is Tyler Freed and I'm headed to Wisconsin. Uh, got a load out of the St. Louis area headed up to southern Wisconsin and uh, it's actually going to be Janesville, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm headed there to make a delivery right now and I figured I would make a video. Um, it is currently the weekend actually but uh, I had a topic in mind for another video so uh, I decided to make one because uh, I'm about to actually stop at Walmart and go grocery shopping and things like that get everything I need for next week I do plan on taking home time next week and like I said to you uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a video about my next move in trucking I'm gonna be doing that while I'm on home time uh, this coming week so make sure you stay tuned for that I'll post that over the weekend or I'll post it uh, on Monday and because by the time you see this video it's gonna be a Wednesday when you see this video so uh, be ready on Monday I'm most likely going to be posting that video about my next move in trucking and what I'm gonna be doing so yeah make sure you stay tuned and if you're new to the channel I always say this in every video, but I just like to remind people because it does help if you do these things, which is like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, and also check out more of my other videos that are recommended. They pop up at the end of this one. Go follow me on Instagram. The link to that is in, in the description below. Follow me. I'll follow you back. But uh, yeah, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell, and just stay tuned for more of my content that's going to be coming up uh, in the future. So uh, what is the topic though for this video? I'm going to get right into it. It's going to be short, sweet, and to the point because I actually have to stop in about, uh, it's about 14 miles I got to stop. So <laughs> I got to go in, grocery shop, and I'm kind of on a time crunch because I'm trying to get to the, uh, the shipper, or sorry, the receiver, and be able to stay for the night because I don't want to start my clock until I get a door and everything's figured out with them. And that's kind of a tip, by the way. Basically, if you can sleep at a shipper or a receiver and park overnight and not have to start your on-duty time until you're ready to check in, you want to do that while you're out here over the road because it does help you with your time management. It helps you maximize uh, your days better if you can do that. So make sure you do use that. Uh, if, if they allow you to sleep at the shipper or the receiver, you make sure you do it, especially if you're a new driver and don't really know about that. Yeah, that will save you a lot of time and it will also, it, it's just gonna increase your productivity. So, uh, but something I'm gonna talk about in this video uh, let me get right into the point. What is the point of the video? Well, the point of the video is basically, I believe, okay, I believe that it's really important to understand that money is very important when you're talking about getting into the trucking industry, okay? And I know it's a taboo subject in, the, in this country, talking about money, talking about money being important, and uh, I'm not afraid to talk about that. I'm not afraid to admit that money is extremely important. It is. There is no denying that. We gotta remember something about money, okay? Money, you have to pay your bills, okay? Everybody has to pay bills. Everybody has to pay for, pay for food, shelter, insurance, the basic necessities of life. That all costs money. If you wanna do things that are not necessities, but they're for your own entertainment, you have to pay money to do those things. If you want to start a business, you want to invest in someone else's business, you want to invest in real estate, you want to invest in stocks, that is going to require money to do that, okay? We live on a planet where you have to have money to function, okay? So let's just start off with that. And no, I do not believe money is everything. Of course it's not everything, of course. Uh, your family, your friends, your, the people in your life are more important than money, okay? Because really, ultimately, money is just a tool. That is all it is. Money is just a tool. It is not a god. It is not meant to be worshipped. So I just want to get that out of the way and make you understand that I do not think money is the most important thing in the world. However, it is one of the most important things in the world and in our lives. Why? Because it's like oxygen. We need it to function. We need oxygen to breathe, to survive. Without money, in any developed country, 
you cannot survive. So I just want to make that point because there's it, it's like a taboo subject, talking about money, talking about investing, talking about building wealth. Things like that are taboo. So I just want to get that out of the way and be clear about my belief systems and, uh, and how I feel about the subject of money. I'm actually very into personal finance, very into economics. I'm very into stock market investing, real estate investing, business in general. I'm into that. That is like, those are my favorite topics, honestly. I talk about trucking because this is my career, but I'm very into those topics. So I do like to make videos talking about money, talking about the mindset of building wealth. I do talk a lot about that, and that's because it's my passion. So for those of you that don't know anything about me, just understand that you don't only get trucking topics in my videos. I may mention trucking because that's my day-to-day -day life, but I don't only talk about trucking. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about money as it relates to trucking, but you could use this basically this mindset, these principles that I'm talking about in any industry, okay? It, it doesn't matter what career field you're in, but I'm gonna just use trucking as the example to explain my point, okay? And what is my point? You should absolutely go into a career field that you can make a lot of money in. I believe that. I truly believe that in order to develop a passion for something, because you know how people say, Follow your passion and, or, or, yeah, follow your passion and the money will follow, right? Work at your path. Well, that is true in a way, but if you're living your life following your passion, following your dream, but your dream doesn't pay you anything, it, it doesn't support you financially, you're going to give up on that dream, okay? So you got to find, you got to have a balance between the two. I truly believe that. Like, I love to be, I love to truck. I love to drive all over the country. It's an adventure to me. It really is. I enjoy the actual job of truck driving. I do. However, if this didn't pay me enough money to do it, if it didn't pay me enough money to build outside of trucking like I like to do, if it didn't pay me enough money to basically be able to invest large sums of money every year and really be able to fund my dreams outside of my job, I would not do truck driving. And fortunately, if you do trucking right, if with the right mindset, with the right choices, you can make a lot of money in trucking. And I truly believe that if you're getting into trucking, if you're getting into any career, let me be clear, but especially trucking, because most people watching me, they're looking at trucking or they're in trucking. That That's the majority of my, the people that follow me, that's what they're doing, okay? And if you're looking at getting into trucking, you should absolutely follow the money trail. I will be that person telling you, yes, you should follow the money trail. Why? Because if you can make a lot of money in a short amount of time, and you can live on, like basically just live cheap, don't get in debt, don't have a lot of expenses and stack away a bunch of money, if you can do that for 5, 10, 15 years and just make the sacrifice, make as much money as you can, put away as much money as you can and invest that money, guess what? You're going to never have to work another day in your life, okay? You won't. You won't. If you, you're making enough truck, people don't understand, especially people that are living in their truck. The people that come out here and they do over the road, and they're they're able to save like forty, fifty, some sixty, seventy thousand dollars in a year. You could literally buy a rental property every single year, being an over the road trucker. You could live on the road and invest in rental property. You could save up and buy one rental property per year with that amount of money. You could do it, and and if you do that over the course of five, ten years. How wealthy are you going to get? And, and that's just, I'm just using that as an example with real estate as an, a perfect way to build wealth long term. It's one of the greatest ways in the world to build wealth long term. You could take 50, 60, 70 grand a year and plow it into the stock market and earn 10, 11, 12% passive income every year. Have your 
have your investment grow and compound for you over the course of 5, 10, 15 years, you'll be able to retire early. That's just a fact. Okay, you can take that money that you're saving at your job, at your company job, and you can save up to buy a truck if you wanna go the owner-operator route. But the point that I'm making in this video, and the point that's, I believe, very important, okay, it's very important to understand that there's so many opportunities in the trucking industry financially. Okay, you have to enjoy it. Yes, you do have to enjoy it. And I want to wrap it up, okay? Because I'm about to exit up here. But you have to enjoy what you're doing. There's no doubt about that. But you do got to get your mind right about money. You got to understand that, hey, I'm going into trucking to change my financial future, to change my, fi or my family's financial future. You can literally build generational wealth and what is generational wealth it's basically you accumulated so much money that your grandkids and their kids can live off of the money off of the wealth that you created that's generational wealth and you can absolutely do that by starting out in the trucking industry at a young age being smart with your money making wise investments like I just alluded to and being patient. Patience is a huge thing too. Your first year in, in this business, you're, you're not going to make six figures. Most, most people are not going to hit that kind of money in their first year. But after a year of experience with a safe, clean record, oh yeah, you can make that kind of money. No doubt about it. Okay. You can definitely make that kind of money, especially if you're willing to do things that other people are not willing to do. But it's up to you to figure out what those things are. But yes, there are plenty of six-figure truck drivers out here that are company drivers. The owner-operators, that's a whole nother level. And I truly believe that if you're really serious about the trucking business, that long-term, hey, becoming an owner-operator is the best thing to do long-term. I do believe that. And so, anyway, I just wanted to touch on the subject of basically having the right money mindset coming into trucking, having the right money mindset when it comes to any career. Go into a career where you can scale. Go into a career where you your income potential is literally unlimited. In this business, I'm telling you, your income potential in trucking is unlimited. It is. It is unlimited. And that is the absolute truth, okay? I'm just telling you the truth. Yes, 99% of people in this industry probably won't ever become millionaires. But, but it is very possible with the type of income we can make in this business, it's very possible to make that kind of, uh, or to build that kind of wealth. It is. So anyway, if you stayed this far into the video, like I said, thank you for watching. And uh, subscribe, to the or subscribe to the channel, like the video, Check out the other videos that are about to pop up at the end of this one. It's about to pop up right now. And uh, go follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. Thank you for watching. God bless. Have a great day. Peace out.